Hey guys, you're not going to my amazing up show. It's your boy LJ back in another video in the center playing. Hey guys, you're not going to my amazing up show. It's your boy LJ back with another video in the channel here today playing some more Roblox. Phew, I've never stumbled my intro so hard like that before. Anyway, today guys, we're playing some more Blocks Fruits. In the last episode, we um we were not this max level as guys can see in the bottom left corner down here. We were actually a bit uh, a bit lower than that, but that's besides the point, guys. Today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to unlock the uh, Dark Step Evolved or whatever you want to call it um, version of this. We're gonna tell you guys how to do it exactly in five seconds. I'm gonna use these five seconds to tell you right now to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys can see right now, I am um, also a different race from the last video. I was human version three. Now I am mink version three. So uh, let's go. I already know. But so if you guys want to know how to get mink version three for some reason, I'll let you guys know in the link description below how to get that. Because uh, I do want to help you guys as many as much as I can. But just follow along with me where I'm going right now as I ramble. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you need to do. You don't need to be max level. I'm just max level because I am. But um. All you gotta do is have your dark step mastery at 400 and uh we're gonna head over to the location where you can go ahead and get the uh the evolved version of black step all right guys so we are now pulled up to the ice castle basically what you guys want to do once you get here you don't gotta set spawn or whatever but uh in order to get it all you gotta do is fight one of these npcs these arctic warriors um if you're a logia it's cool they can't hurt you or whatever but um all you gotta do is fight them for a while and then they'll drop something called a hidden key i think it was a library key or a room key i think it's a room key but I'll, I'll post a picture of what it looks like whenever you get the item drop. Once you get that, guys, make sure you have your Dark Step equipped or your Black Leg. I'm really not sure what the previous version of Dark Step is called. Though. I, I think it's Black Leg, but they changed the name because of copyright issues. But um, make your way up here. And uh, also, you guys can see I got Rengoku, the sword here, which is actually a pretty cool sword from Demon Slayer. Uh, I like it a lot. Get the two moves. Watch out! And then you got uh, this move right here, which is a rush attack. But um, let me actually show that real quick. All right, guys, this is the burning slash attack. Whooshing. There's a lot of fire damage. And then you got this rush attack. Ah, yes, very beautiful. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Sheesh. Whooshing, 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 whooshing. The reason how you get uh, Rengoku 2 is uh, once you fight those guys, they drop, they drop like two keys actually. Those guys down there, they drop a secret key. And that secret key unlocks this room back here, which is, ooh, poggers. Head back here and there's like a chest here normally. It's not here anymore, but the chest has the sword of Rengoku in it. And once you get the key from the Arctic Warriors, you can unlock the chest and then you, what the? Is he really trying to fight me right now, bro? Anyway, that that's good. Cause I, I gotta, I gotta show you guys an example anyway. So how to get the um, black leg uh, evolved? You gotta you gotta beat this guy. He's gonna oh god, I'm not getting the right direction. You gotta beat him in a one v one. Yes, a one v one. He's easy though, you know what I'm saying? He's not even that good. I'm gonna miss all his shots. He didn't miss that actually. He totally nailed me. But um, pause. Let's go ahead and beat him real quick. Um, let's go ahead and turn on double while we can. All right, let me stop. I mean, look, okay, okay. Bro, I have Icy Waking too, bro. I'm just, I'm just not using it right now. Okay, guys, so after you beat the homie, um, Jesus Christ is gonna kill me, JK. After you beat him, oh, come on. Nice. See, you found the library key. So once you get the key, guys, he gives you that little key. And then you open this door right here. Mine's already open, unfortunately, so poggers. But you get this key that he drops. This is what it looks like. Got the library key. I can't believe we got that first try, actually. That's kind of poggers. But um, you hand it to this lady over here. Boing, boing. And, oh, it's Foyo. The reformed. Okay. Uh, I guess that's what it's called. Come back when you're prepared enough. Huh. Psych. I'm not surprised, guys. I knew that was going to happen. You got to have your dark step at mastery 4 hundred you gotta have your dark step at mastery four hundred so we're gonna do real quick is i actually should have killed that guy with my fruit i mean my leg 
but it's whatever we're gonna go ahead down here we're gonna beat these guys real quick get our mastery to 400 and i'll be right back up there in just a second guys these guys are super easy to kill all right so now once you get your uh your level 400 mastery you don't even need to have max mastery guys that's the poggers part dude poggers anyway you head down here or back over here and then you talk to her again with your mastery 400 black leg and you talk to her she says hi would you like to learn the death step fighting style for 2,500,000 belly and 5,000 fragments? This style allows you to destroy your opponent's body with powerful kicks and four special scales. So obviously we're going to say yes because I mean, look at the money down there, man. It's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. 5k fragments, bro? Uh, it's, so that's what it's called, death step. So we got dark step and death, 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 death step. So look at this, man. This just looks sick. And holy smokes wow i wow <sighs> you know i was not expecting to uh, have to start <laughs> all the way over guys i'm not gonna lie to you this video well this video is gonna be pretty short for you but i mean for me it's probably gonna be about another two hours jesus all right guys i think i do for you too but uh that's how you unlock the fruit we're gonna do a showcase in just about a minute well, for you guys, it's going to be a minute. For me, it's going to be about two hours. I'll see you guys here in just a jiffy. Pain. Whew. Okay, guys. So, I am finally done maxing out. Um, I didn't max it out, but I just got the requirements for the uh, death step. That's what it's called. And actually, the first one was called dark step. So, finally got those two terminologies correct. But let's go ahead and give you guys a showcase of the damage. Um, I'm going to do with hockey. Then we're gonna do without hockey. Actually, no, we're gonna do without hockey first. Then we're gonna do with hockey, and then we're gonna do with um, flames, and then we're gonna do with flames with hockey. All right, so let's go ahead and give you guys the full complete damage. Let's see what we got. First move here is rocket kick. I like using the uh, shift lock for this one, but you want to generally aim down. You can see he has a position. It looks pretty cool. But James, aim down like uh, like their feet or something, and then just kind of. That does, it does a little bit of good damage with our hockey. Then you got Wind Bullet, which is a pretty far range attack. See, boom. Kicks him with the super fast lightning bullet kick. Then you got the Vermilion Drill, which is pretty cool. It's going to about 60 damage. And it has like a final smash attack. And my stats, by the way, are 801 plus 133. So, you know, it's doing, it's doing a, a pretty good amount of damage. So let's do one with uh, hockey now. So we got the first move again for you, which is the rocket with hockey this time. Nice. I didn't even get to see the damage, but sheesh. Let's see this move right here. Boink. Oh, 968. Jesus. All right. Okay, this one's only good 71. How about this final? Oh, the final attack does like 438 or 484. Let's see that first one again. I couldn't really see the damage, but it's okay. All right, guys, now without further ado, we're going to do the, um, I'm going to take hockey off. We're going to do Devil Flames. Let's see this first move real quick. Boom. That looks like it does a lot. Also, it does fire damage, so that's cool. Let's see this move here. Wind Bullet. Sheesh. 937. Not bad, not bad. Vermilion. Sheesh. 69. This is without hockey, by the way. Last one does about, uh, I think it did like 90 or something. Maybe 100. All right, we're going to finish them off real quick. Sheesh! 706 with like the regular kicks. Oh yeah, let's see our let's see our regular kicks too. Well, I can't really do that because I right, let's, let's go put a hockey on real quick and I'll just do the other guy. Boing. Sheesh! That's a lot of damage. Look at his HP. Boing. 1000. Sheesh! Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is kind of this is kind of wow, this is poggers, dude. Look at how long the flames last, my G. The flames last for a while. It's still on. Okay, so it looks like it lasts all the way up until like the letter L on flames. So that's really good, man. That's some pretty good stuff. Then we do a regular 731 with hockey on and our regular kicks. And without, we do 642. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, guys. So without further ado, we're finally going to go ahead and show you guys how this works in PvP against superhumans. So let's check it out. missed 
Did I miss him? Superhuman just might have enough reach to beat this. Let's go ahead and turn on. Oh, I thought that was me. Uh, getting that move is going to be really hard, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. That might be the hardest one to get. I don't know how that other move is missing him, but it's kind of annoying. Yo, that damage, though? See, I don't know how that move is missing him, but I don't know. It's it's, it's all right. It's it's an all right for. I wouldn't say it's the best in PvP. Obviously, for the video purposes, where we were just doing melee, we were just trying to see how it looked, and uh, as far as damage wise, if you were just going to do melee and stuff, it does some pretty good damage by itself. You know, 484 damage for kicks at only like what is what is it like 935 um, uh, melee stats because you know the 133. Yeah, like a 935, or 934 actually, so that's, that's pretty good. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome, wonderful day. Bye!